Hello students, so let's try to solve uh, one problem from CSIR net 2021. And this problem is from quantum mechanics from angular momentum algebra. In this problem, there are four options are given and they are operator. The first operator is R square LZ. Second is PX LX. Third is Y LZ. And fourth is P square L square. And what we have to choose, we have to choose out of these four options, which pair of operator cannot be measured simultaneously. Okay, so this is our question. So which cannot be measured uh, simultaneously with arbitrary accuracy. So there is error. Uh, so if they are not going to measure simultaneously, there is some error. And uh, uh, how we will approach this thing. So whenever you have uh, two operators and we whether we have to check they are measured simultaneously or not simultaneously, what we have to do, we have to just go for a commutation. So when you will go for commutation between R square and LZ, you will get zero. You will go for PX and LX, again you will get zero. But when you will go for Y, LZ, that will be not zero. This is very interesting. And P square and L square will also zero. So let's try to calculate this one. Otherwise, you can practice for all these things. So you can easily check whether they are zero or not. So let's, I am just going for the correct option. So we have to check the commutation between Y, LZ, and this can be written as Y, and LZ can be written as X, PY, minus Y, PX. So this thing is written as Y, X, PY, minus Y, Y, PX. So obviously this term is going to zero and when you are going for this particular thing, so that value is y, p, y and I can take x here. y, p, y is not going to commute. So this is x into i, h cut and they are basically conjugate variables. So they are not going to commute. So that value is x and which is not equal to zero. So surely these two operator will not measured simultaneously. This is very interesting. Okay, and otherwise, if you are going to check other operator, they will be surely zero. And so they are not going to, so they can measure it simultaneously, but this operator is not going to measure simultaneously. So this is just a practice of commutation and you have to just go for this complete formula of this particular commutation. And we all know that if two operator is AB, then the commutation is AB minus ba and if this equal to zero then they can measure simultaneously this is the whole idea of this particular problem thank you